hello how are you doing welcome back to my channel if you're new hello my name is Sarah you are most welcome I'm performer choreographer and I make videos about what it's like to be a freelance dance artist in the UK and also all the things that bring me joy actually mainly it's about all the things that bring me joy that is what this channel is going to move more towards I just have so much footage that I've been filmed uh, filmed over the summer and stuff that once that's all gone I'm gonna change the focus uh, and you know you could say my work does bring me joy so there you have it so this week's video is but one thing to bring me joy which is going away but also this year like loads of us we've not been able to go away on holiday so I was going away for a, a writing week to work on the new show which I'll be telling you all about very soon called Punk Alley and I um, decided to stay to pay extra for myself to stay in a really bougie hotel and um, the hotel is called the Albion Rooms it's also known as the Libertines Hotel because it's owned by the Libertines and it was quite an interesting experience I've never stayed anywhere that's that bougie before so that was really nice to go treat yourself so yeah it just follows this video it's just about those few days I spent in Margate and um, it's actually a bit of a mishmash of a vlog hope you enjoy it and you are wobbling around there this camera's wobbling but we're just gonna go with it okay thank you i'm staying in the dark in the lombard room so you come in and this is pretty much what it was like when i arrived like it's very dark it's quite bougie this desk here there's also a fridge and everything in the fridge I can have it's free not free I paid for it nice tea and, some nice tea and coffee some nice snacks oh, kettle this is fun look it's the holy bible and actually inside there's a flip phone to call down reception should I need um bin then you come to this there is a mirror hello um also hung up loads of clothes there fancy red curtain chandelier which you can't really see um the bed is so comfy little red light this angle um and yes it's quite small for the price, but it's it's fine. I must say, I can't really show you the view, but it's out into the back of the buildings. It's not really a sea view, which is a shame. Bathroom, which is quite nice. This is that's the room tour. It's very very small. I must say, I am really enjoying myself here. enjoy the Libertines Hotel. It's so cool with all this art that's there all around the hotel. I showed you some outside. Maybe I'll try and sneak some in the tomorrow for breakfast. There's a line here in, in the uh, in like the instructions to the room and it says there are certain freebies in your room you may take away with our compliments should you remove other items including but not limited to those listed below you are more than welcome There's so many things not on that list that I'm like mm, I could totally take look they've got a beat speaker that's cool isn't it but um this is my tote bag I'm assuming you get it for free I loved when I came into the room and I liked all the different bits around the robes and stuff. I mean, what, when you stay, stay in expensive hotels, what do you pay the money for? Okay, the customer service, top notch, although I'm not cheeky or bougie enough to ever really use the concierge service properly. I mean, to its fullest amount. On the first day uh, I arrived, the restaurant was fully booked and I, they said, do you want a roast dinner? And get up to your room and I was like, yeah, I'd love that. So I got my roast dinner up to my room and then I was like, oh, what do I do with this tray? And I've said seen in the movies that you leave your tray outside your room. So I did that, but then no one collected it. So then when I went down for breakfast, I carried it downstairs. 
what you're supposed to do. Um, yeah, let's have a nice day out in Margate. This is what the room looks like in daylight. Oh, just see, I've put the, my chair against the door in case anyone tried to get in and I would hear it. <laughs> the bed is actually two single beds pushed together, which is a bit weird, but it's actually really comfy. Okay. Let's get in the shower. I washed my hair with that heckle stuff and I wasn't that impressed with it. It didn't make me feel like really soft. You know when you wash your hair with conditioner, probably really chemical to con conditioner, and it feels really soft as you're washing it. But apparently this stuff is really expensive. So I really feel like doing, do you know that scene in Broad City where she's in the club? Not the club, in the, the gym and uh, She's filling the bag up. I'll get a clip, I'll search it. That's what I feel like I should do. Apparently it's really good. Full of seaweed from Margate. They sell it in Liberty, apparently, so... I wonder if I can bring a bottle home. It does say you can take some things, so... Anyway, here's a montage of my morning routine. <laughs> So I'm now at the Tom Thumb inside this most gorgeous space and then I'm going to do a bit more work on the script and then I'm going to I'm going to take a couple of hours off because I'm in Margate and I need to go to the beach because the beach is where my soul is. So I'll show you around here later. I think I'm gonna do a whole video because tomorrow all of Punk Alley cast are coming up. I've not told you about Punk Alley cast, I've not told you about any of that, but here we fuck, here the fuck we are. And um, well, let's let's just see how we go. Uh, wonderful, <laughs> love you all, goodbye. <laughs> So it is now the end of the day. I'm not sure if you can hear me. People are talking at some. I didn't really vlog that much. I'll insert some bits of footage, things that I did. Went to the studio, had some meetings. And then I went to Gaza's studio, which is in the middle of Margate. Yeah, I just chat through the show. This is the end of my stay here at the hotel. The Albion rooms. Actually, quite sad about going home tomorrow. I guess you could just stay here and write all the time, you know. This lighting's amazing. <sighs> Let's do this. Let's go. This is last day in market. Hear those birds. Do it right. I love it here so much. So beautiful. It's like a painting, isn't it? There I am. Hello. Ooh, yucky, yucky seed. How hey, beautiful! Got no lipstick on. The joys. All right, let's climb the stairs.
Yeah, that was really nice. I'm going to go and have some breakfast. I'll bring you down and I can tell you all about that. And then, time to check out. Maybe when I'm back in London, I can do my bit of a review. You know what I mean? So I'm back in London and here's my really quick review. Well, I would say if you're gonna stay there, it is really fun. There's loads of artwork everywhere, which is really cool. Um, and everyone who stays there is definitely like our music fans. Like you can tell they have that whole kind of, uh, always got the Manchester look. You know, that kind of like 90s indie band look. Yeah, it was really nice. The staff, were so so nice i would say in the room i stayed in in particular it was quite noisy there was an air conditioning unit just outside my room i could hear everything going on downstairs in the bar people coming in, in the mornings throughout the night the noise of bar and people i don't mind but what i don't don't like is when you can hear people above you and on my last two nights i had people above me and that was annoying so apart from that i really enjoyed my stay and i definitely will want to be staying in bougie hotels from now on. One thing I didn't vlog, which would have probably would have been good for you to know if you're looking at going to Libertine's Hotel, is that they have a bar and a restaurant. The restaurant is where you have the breakfast, so it's quite small and you have to book. And then downstairs there is a bar and there is also um, gigs on there. Um, I didn't go to any, any, any gigs. I went down there one night by myself to get some of their bar food end up just getting chips because I don't eat mushrooms and they had mushroom in all the vegetarian options so that was a shame um, but in general food is amazing the coffee is good and staff are really good so uh, what one thing that's nice is it is just a house that's just been done up and painted a really fancy grey. You know, it's not it's not a really fancy house. So what I mean by that comment, which I didn't explain very well, is that it felt very homely and welcoming. So even though it was very bougie and there was protocols that I didn't understand, I definitely felt welcome. Just to clarify. Um, but I really enjoyed it and I would recommend. So go, 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 all right. And Margate is one of my favorite places in the UK who went somewhere where I would actually love to live. It was nice to be there. I didn't actually see any of my friends who lived there. I kind of just went there and just had early nights and stuff. So that was quite sensible of me. Um, but yes, look forward to going back to Margate again. So if you like the video, please like it. If you really like it, please share it. Share a comment down below the kind of thing, more videos you want me to see. And tell me what brings you joy and I will get on that soon. Um, loads and loads of love. Thank you so much for all your support. Um, if you're not subscribed, why not subscribe? Just why not? Just give it a go. Give it a go. And... Let's go.